How is everyone feeling this fine afternoon? Comment below and let me know. And for those of you who don't know, this channel is called No Trash Tolerated because we don't tolerate no trash, okay? If you don't have bars or a message or some kind of quality, uh, quality artistry, I don't want to hear it. And if I do hear it, I'm probably going to talk some trash. But look, time is the most valuable of currencies. I just did uh, Fire in the Booth Part 1 is going to be uploaded soon. Um... I'm doing part two, right back to back, man. Ah, number one, phenomenal, um, phenomenal. So I'm hoping for more of the same here. Uh, if you like it, hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit the all, hit like, hit everything. It's all appreciated. Thank you guys. Here we go. Without further ado, let me just make sure I'm recording. I'm getting, I, you know, I'm coming back after a long hiatus, so I got to make sure I'm recording. I got to be on point. Always be on point. Competence. Let's go. I know you're gonna dig this. Oh, I sure yeah. hope so. Man, call it, brother. You know what time it is when you hear this, right? Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yo, a caller. Wow. Knowledge is power. Volume 1, mixtape 28 for May. Listen. Hey, this is a Nas beat, bro. You, be you better come with it. You're doing a Nas beat, man. You're, you're talking about the pockets like Jesus. Nas wrote the Bible, man. Come on. Let's go. Carlamusic.com. Chase. Tiny bit more vocal, please, actually. Listen. Yeah. Knowledge is power, always. Mm. Listen. The scam, brother, the scam! <laughs> Oi, mate, my personal life's great. Some of you would love me more if I rub that in your face. Okay, well, mm. let us run down the resume and have a little chat about a car that's living today. Big whip, nice yard, been all over the globe. Look how many continents that I have done. Shows, couple little companies, neat little office, everything going swell. Little bit of profit, built a business, educating kids from the block. So far as I'm concerned, you got to be a mum to not rate him. Oh, my own masters, still my own master. Novels and strips on the way. Rap it's just a part of the genius in his head and he knows it dickhead since i used to kick ball for west ham with my big head mm. back in school days wearing hang me downs from my sister and yell was still onto man now that's some ross charisma it's just a nipper <laughs> i took my first pull of rizla and who you think gave me that yeah my what is rizla you, you UK people, you got to tell me what that is. Charisma, it's just a nipper. I took my first pull of Rizla. I knew you think pull gave of me that. Yeah, my bigger sister. So when we mm. speak a struggle, cousin, it's yours. You know the same old madness. Oh, uh, is that pot? F first pull of Rizla or whatever? Yeah, anyway. King class poor, yeah, so may have won a couple of awards. I guarantee you that my family just as messed up as yours. All the Whoa. abuse and the alcoholism and drug addiction. Yeah. Uncles go into prison. This is working class living in Britain. It ain't great. You gotta be kidding. So please don't ever get confused by me spitting. Cause yes, I said the ghetto's in our head, but no, I didn't mean if you live next to a food yard, let us in your dreams. Mm. I meant believing in the madness they spout about us. It's far more dangerous than putting us in council houses. So yeah, I criticize, but from a place of love, Never, ever, cause I think that I've become above every young brother you wanna judge as a tug. It's me, man, it's a little guidance and love, so I think that you're the mug. And why mm. be smug when it's an actual fact? We all commit crime simply by paying tax. Cause we didn't go and tickle them people in our rack and all. Hang on, man. <laughs> man, is taxation theft? You tell me. C comment. You tell me, is, is taxation theft? Or is he talking about where the taxes go is criminal? I don't know. I don't know, man. It could mean a lot of things. Commit crime simply by paying tax. Cause we didn't go and tickle them people in Iraq and ask them so politely mm. for all the minerals we extract. We blew children's heads off, set fire to backs. With a gangster nation, get down and you get clapped. So yeah. when you see the youth they're running around on the road with heaters, don't be surprised. They're just copying their leaders. Long mm. as the wars stay in places that are brown and poor, we can all pretend to be abhorred, but we applaud. If you go up to Knightsbridge and get violent, the policeman at Duppies, you will probably get knighted. If mm. I don't want to fight you, cuz. It ain't cause I'm frightened. I'd just rather fight with those who really think they're tight and shh. Mm. I ain't scared of bleeding. I am scared of breathing. Another breath in this world where everything is so uneven. When millions. Oh, man. I ain't scared of bleeding. I'm scared of breathing. Another breath in this world where it's so uneven. Oh, man. Man, I, I just. I appreciate the artistry and the skill in which he delivers it. It's one thing that he's delivering it. Um, cause I mean, there's lots of, we all know him. there's a lot like, like Eminem, for instance, nothing against Eminem. Okay. I mean, 
murdered in the Congo with I thought I heard somebody knocking. Eminem, very skilled, but a lot of the times it's like stuff about chopping your head off and stuff, which I mean, his skill is is close to unmatched, Eminem, in my opinion. You can say what you want. His skill is close to unmatched, but to to write something with substance and to implement it with that amount of skill and that timing and and that delivery, writing a rap is one thing actually rapping that rap like this that's a whole other thing man you know let's let's get into it when this barely news but if a footballer's wife should buy a pair of shoes i'm supposed to give up apparently i do not the world's a reflection of your block and if you think a world that profit from their death and be totally cool thinks you're better could you live here you're a bloody fool mm. look around at genocidal abuse i swear to humanity ain't nothing but a virus with shoes then i pick my nephew up from school and i look at the youths and see the love they show each other and i'm just so confused because they ain't learned yet what is their race or religion so we're born unconditioned but we learn to play our position in the system look what that does to our recognition of self we grow suspicion of our own intuition i listen a girl is sick way around about racism we grow suspicion of our own intuition hmm man too much could you imagine i gave a flame because it's amazing <laughs> how many want to claim they love this music with no respect for the actual struggle that produced it did hip-hop not start in segregated hoods and them hoods not still segregated so it's really good but the first oh, nation not still man. on reservations where the age of 46 is the average life expectation and fellas where was that where did he say that was? Segregated hoods, and them hoods not still segregated, so it's really good. But the First Nation not still on reservations where the age of 46 is the average life expectation. Mm. And fellas, I wonder where the favelas have been suddenly knocked down and replaced with something better. If you got sense, you see fights to join the race, class, and gender besides are the same coin. So mm. if you're really down for justice, whoever the people who suffers, whoever you are, I consider you my sister's brothers, but call it what it is like Carlin or Bill Hicks, not these patronizing left wing little twits to ask me okay. dumb on a superior tip i want to act like because i read us all as violence as a kid Don't make oh me man <laughs> he's going after the left wing bro Oh man. For your mental protection from accepting the madness in the system we are left in. That was the clearest thing to come of August events. All the closet bigots started speaking their minds again. So when mm. a Jamaican or Asians misbehaving, of course it's because of their skin. Blonde hair kills a million people, that's just him. And it's Ooh. entertaining, some people are so thick. But I prefer that than all of the fake grins. Because it's the only problem people claim they want to solve, but don't actually want to talk about how it if Man, for a, for a long time, there was, I mean, right now, like CNN, MS, MS, MPC, uh, most, I mean, what's the, the Telegraph? Is that uh, The Guardian? The Guardian. There's all these like mainstream medias and now they don't really do it. But for the longest time, it was exactly what he said. The double standard of, of a black man kills someone. It's, it's not because uh, it's not he's personally responsible for his actions. It's, it's oh, this is just his nature. You know, it, it, was, it, it wasn't like they said it flat out in the in the 80s and 90s in the news but it was between the lines read between the lines and then it's oh uh, a blonde kills a million people it's it's you know it doesn't have anything to do with race which at the end of the day i believe in personal responsibility so if you do something that's effed up i'm trying to cuss less if you do something that's just truly fucked um <laughs> you know hold that person responsible Regardless of the race, and I know it's people say, oh, it's easy for you to say because I'm white. And it's like, maybe, I don't know. Uh, well, let's talk about it. You know, I'm willing to talk with anyone. But yeah, it's true, man. There was a double standard for a long time. And even now, I still meet people that have that double double standard ignorance. Um, you know, we, we need to hold people personally responsible uh, for their actions. And I mean, in his first one, he talked about read, better yourself. You can still do things even if you're born behind, regardless of your race, class, gender, uh, whatever, whatever the hell you identify as. You can work your way up, you know? You have to believe that because if, if you can't work your way up, then what's the point? What's the point of even being alive? If you can't work your way up to something, you know? Well, then 
I'm not gonna say anything more, but but let's listen. Involved, you are told this country really, really yours, sir. What they did to brown people did to their own poor first and originally in the uh. states. Working class whites were also enslaved. That no one talks about it today. Ever since the, <laughs> the Irish. The system of privilege made the working whites the overseers mulatto the house could put the darkest blacks in the field that mind is with us still billion dollar industry skin cream and bleaching pills and let's be honest most people in my complexion to this very day still think they're better than the darker section you say it's changed then only educate me about Wilberforce not about the Africans in Haiti who beat the armies of the British Spanish and Napoleon from the moment they stolen them there was no control in them oh man whoa 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 bro I don't want this ad Come on, man. You're doing this to me right now? YouTube's getting ridiculous with these ads, bro. Hang on. In school, she said, no, you never fought for freedom. No, stolen them. There was no control in them. When I was in school, she said, no, you never fought for freedom. No, we freed you. And you were on your knees pleading. And what's more, wow. did you know that we kind of saved you from the barbarism of Africa? You should be grateful when enough of our own people can't be bothered to read that they actually believed that we were swinging from trees. They don't know the kingdom of Congo had embassies in Italy 500 years ago. Literally ain't heard a single wow. snore. Septimus Sebaba stains in the past. I can't they believe think it's irrelevant. Hang on. I can't believe someone would say that to him. Then again, you know, there's a lot of ignorance out there, man. You can call it racism, ignorance. It's all the same thing, you know. Uh, it... Racism doesn't do well to exposure. You know what I mean? Think about that. An attempt to pretend that ancient Egyptians went African, not a more than pseudo -int Just a side note, most of our science, the humanities science, for a long time, Africa was a, a, a North Africa. Um, I don't know about other, I don't know about other sections of it, but that's where most of our science came from, originally. I mean, come on, man. Come on. That's what, yeah, man, that's crazy. <laughs> said that she, he said they can't be bothered to read some of the some of them actually think we were like swinging from trees or something like wow i don't know that i, I think that might just be hyperbolic but man <laughs> intellectual lies they obviously ain't read what i Egyptians went African, not a more than pseudo intellectual lies. Mm. They obviously ain't read what Aristotle when Herodotus said about Herodic. people that they saw for their own eyes. And he just been invaded since the fall of the pharaohs, not once, not twice, but many, many times. So nobody wants to explain why so many statues are missing noses, even when them statues made of granite. It ain't one people alone mistaught about themselves. We live on Celtic land, but don't learn about the Celts the same. Mm. Irish people you characterize as stupid during the dark ages, some of the most educated living in Europe. And did you oh, learn enough man. to count with every day was invented by Indian people? I bet you didn't. Or how many million Indians fought for Britain in both world wars? Still you got the cheek to call them immigrants. We don't learn about the Moors, of course. For some that knowledge dangerous. Is it a problem the impact they had on the Renaissance? When people take power over another group, we minimize their achievements so we can make it feel true. So if you uh -huh. think Columbus was first to sail ocean blue, you probably believe Elvis invented rock and roll too. And <laughs> 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 Bro, don't try to whitewash it, man. <laughs> oh man. That's pretty that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Blue, you probably believe Elvis invented rock and roll too. And oh, for the record no doubt, I believe in people. No, I I mean there's there's a lot of uh yeah. No, sorry. I I'll, I'll, I'll stop pausing, man. We got to get through this cuz it's 14 minutes. It's a long time. Let's go. But not for one second and they'll turn the other cheek. They slap you, slap them back. Take teeth. The only way your bully Ooh. ever learn is getting beat. Fight, fire with fire, nah, fire with water. See the life giving force is stronger than the destroyer. Mm. That's why these MCs can't speak to me. No, all oh, men are not made equally. My brain's made of mm. iron fiber, conducting the livest wire. My average grade's higher than Oxford or Cambridge require. I don't want yeah. credit. <laughs> Man. He's saying, no, not all men are created equally. My mind. Oh man. Whew. Man, the, the thing about this stuff, it gets me worked up, dude. But not all he's saying not all men are created equal. I'm above most of these people. But everything I've heard from Akala though has been pretty he's he's pretty humble. But at a certain point, when you're doing stuff like this, you gotta brag, man. Come on. You gotta brag a little bit, right? I mean, who else is doing stuff like this? Very few people. Very few.
a message on credit cause I'm the best MC Dead it When I came out way back in 04 Sister I just won every award Most man would have done the bait thing But big sis on the chorus chords That would have been A-list draw Quickly I would have been famous more But look how I came in this thing raw Bang up the streets some more If I MC then I heard me rap I'd be like what the I ain't never gonna be that good So I better not push my luck It will embarrass me Only insanity would make you challenge me Better hope if we bump heads That day that I feel like charity If not it's a beating And there ain't no use in searching for meaning Cause all it means is That you are crap and I am a genius Where I'm Panama, I push the paramatter, can you imagine the fathom? I'm sicker than average, I kill him with character, Benjamin Banneker, look at the marriage, I'm in a damage, I'm from a tannica, got a look for the whole of the calendar, so cold that I roll in the challenger, why you man roll with the amateurs, I'm too much harder, you can just call him Father McCarla, but I don't talk shit like a pastor, you really know that I'm smarter than half a bloody disaster, if I ever start, I'll probably a prodigy make you a martyr, for these crap MCs that mumble, then see me in the flesh and crumble, That's whoever told bad. you that I was humble, no I'm not, don't lie. I was about to say a profanity, I'm not a fan of mumble rap. I think it's a disgrace, man. Meet, meet, meet someone like Akala in real life, man. You ain't having a conversation, bro. Akala's educating you. That's what's going to happen. Period. Come on, bro. Come on. Let's go. For these crap MCs that mumble, then see me in the flesh and crumble. That's Whoever told bad. you that I was humble? No, I'm not. Don't lie. I'm so sure in my writing ability that I feel like I'm fine in divinity. <laughs> Sit down and me rhyme a soliloquy. He just proved me wrong. He just said, I'm not humble. He proved me wrong. All right. My agility, time in this military What a singular team for the mini-me It seems rough theme for the mimicry Your team couldn't dream of the synergy That I beam when I scheme when the wicked beat There goes again with the big words with best syllables Get your dictionaries out, that's what I'm about Clowns wanna shout, flash them, smash them in the mouth Bloody professor, a man of the letters I read and I read and I'm sure that I'm better Never regret an endeavor to dead an oppressor I think that the lepers that think that their pleasures are better endeavors Don't know a lot of pressures, but See me? Born in a rage, maroon blood coursing my veins As you can see, I was born for the stage But I'll never be their cultural maid Some say that we're political Is what they're doing isn't Don't they preach a political doctrine called materialism? But mm. all the Italian clothes that you wear All German cars that you drive All French champagne that we'll buy Will still be monkeys in their eyes So why you were begging it? Who Man. knows? Italians fight to wear Jamaican clothes Italians call their own women For everyone's entertainment, bro But hey, what do I know? Ooh. I'm just the one with the clothes that flows All over the globe I'm burning down shows But still don't oil my chest and pose Pose a threat to the power structure Not because we're anything special But because we're the people together And that's the only way things change ever Did he say Chester, Chester Pose? Was that a shot at... Not a shot, but was he referencing Chester P? I don't know I don't think so, but... I just thought of it anyway. Not because we're anything special, but because we're the people together. And that's the only way things change ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of just tore the building to pieces. I don't even know what to say. I, I feel like I just be school for a hot minute right there. Bro, we still, got, MCs, you know what? Like, we still got five minutes, bro. I got five more minutes that I got to deal with this headache he just gave me. Oh man, come on, let's go. I want to hear you. Don't call my phone. If you ain't coming to destroy and be like that, don't call my phone. Or you're gonna get a voicemail. A caller. Wow. Bro. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Yo. That's right, no man. Take him down. That's Yo. right. Listen. Uh. If you ain't coming to destroy a beat, don't call my phone. All right, let's go. Yo. I know. This. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. Mm. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. Mm. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day. Yo, listen. In a scheme of living, my life wasn't hard. But as far as Britain goes, I practically starved. Sleeping in a tracksuit, gas meter running out. He's bringing up an interesting point. Like, if you're poor in Britain and America, you're still far above the um, the global poverty line. I mean, I mean, think about how large the world is. There are places in Asia and Africa, um, Europe, in the U.S. In the U.S. I mean, there there are some pretty horrific places. But if you're, it's not to discount how hard things are for you. Like, if if you're one of these people, man, I'm not trying to discount how how tough this shit is for you. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't grow up rich. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I I get I get where he's coming from. Um, he, by British standards, he was starving, but ultimately, he's saying his living wasn't that hard. I grew up, um, you know, poor middle class. Ba middle class is a stretch. I, I grew up a little bit below middle class America, which is still far better than most places in the world, but. I, I will say it's it feels when you're at the lower end of the totem pole in your society, you feel like it can't get any worse. And then and then you you look other places and you're like, oh, so it, it could be far worse. 
anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll let the man speak. I'll let the man speak because I, this is what we're here for. Electric car off as well, candles lighting up the house. Looking in my mother's eyes, I see how she feels. The strain and the pain of just paying bills that ain't real. And that's how I grew, like so many more. And that was part of who I am, I am very sure. You want to know the rage I feel in my stomach? No, my mama, dad's blood when I was still in her stomach. And not everything that happened, I will put in 16s. But I will tell you enough so you will know what I mean. My boy's mother got cancer the same time as mine. Is Most people have no clue Bro, that in 2023 YouTube. the best way to make money on I'm not Amazon even I'm not, not even going to edit this out. Just let's just protest it. Let's protest the ads. Oh my gosh. Died, and mine survived. It was crazy back then. When I was like 10, already had the mental strength more than many grown men. This was a couple years after my stepdad left. Did he really know the crazy mess that he left? Because mom done recover from the lumps in her neck. But being poor and alone couldn't cope with the stress. Uh, wow. My big sis fought so much so. And I hadn't left school when she left home. I was 13 by now. Still a little kid. Innocent. I hadn't left school by the time she left home. What, what did... I'm not sure exactly... I'm not sure exactly what he meant, meant means by that. Next couple years, though, will turn him to a militant. That is the result of no food in the fridge. And every other day, you're getting searched by the pigs. Plus, these patronizing teachers, though. My grade's sick, trying to emasculate me. Yeah, turn me to a Anna. Don't uh, mean a woman, please let me be clear. I mean a spineless man, because what do they fear? More than a word. Yo, if you, if you call somebody a bitch, it's nothing against women. I, I, I think of... I, I said I was trying to stop cussing, man. But if you call somebody that word, like, it's exactly what he said, man. Like, come on. You, you gotta, every, we gotta stop being so sensitive as a society, man. We gotta grow the F up, honestly. Let's grow up, people. Don't mean a woman, please let me be clear. I mean a spineless man, because what do they fear? Yeah. More than a working class brown male with a brain when our energy is harnessed. Everything changed. Look yeah. at Pac, look at Marley, look at Hendrix, look at Garvey. This is the uh -huh. potential that is wasted on a daily basis. A racist, classist world that we're living. Still, we're coming for nothing and we educate millions. I yeah. see why it scares you. It's like, how dare you overcome obstacles that we are being careful to place in your way every step of the way in this so called democracy where kids get sprayed. Blacks and the Asians, Turks and the Chavs, crowded in council flats, living like ants. And who's more confused than so called white trash talking this madness, but they want their country back? It never was yours. You should read more. What Damn. they did to brown people, they did to their own poor, but people's memory short so much that I'm. I know he said it uh, earlier in this, or maybe it was the first one, but yeah, man. I mean, come on, dude. It's, it's when you're. When you're like, for instance, you know, in the U.S., there's a lot of poor whites that say like, oh, we need to take our country back. It's like, man, your your, your politicians don't care about you. Like, I, I'm not going to say it's not their country. They live here. They grew up here. They were born here. So there's value to that. You know, it's your country. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, they, they're doing the same stuff. I mean, look at the opioid crisis in Appalachia. You know, it's like it's like. And then all of a sudden, whites want to care about drugs. It's like, look, I'm not trying to race bait here, but at the end of the day, it's like, wh what happened with crack in the 80s? Um, you know, it's it's like, it's an epidemic. These people are sick. They need help, um, period. You know, regardless of their race, it's, it's one race isn't more, uh, doesn't have a higher propensity for, for drug use. And, and that I know of. I don't know, man. Maybe there's some weird study out there. Who knows? But anyway yeah yeah this man speaks the truth man I, I i love the first one this this one's a little bit more calm and relaxed um i think maybe just because of the beats but man he's he's this guy's phenomenal um i'm definitely gonna check out more by him i'll tell you that much what they did to brown people they did to their own poor but people's memory short so much that i'm seeing black and asian kids cuss eastern europeans no pot to piss in makes competition i fail to see how this is an effective system mm. when cats and dogs in america and britain eat better food than most of humanity and we spend our technology only on killing how is this more than sophisticated savagery? It was once said, the world is a stage, each person just an actor with a part to play, like the middle class kids and kids of the rich that have everything, but yet still they pissed on their coke and ketamine, strung out on, I ain't generalizing. 
Look at the evidence, so go to Glastonbury any year, you will see. But unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police. This is London. The kids on the very next street had a very different life experience from me. And in my experience, they can't help but be smug. After a lifetime of what they think's just good luck. But they're still more anxious and more thankless. Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor. That's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they not. They will grow up though and get better jobs and maintain a system that they claim that they hated. They can't fight against, they got a stake in this matrix. Hip hop is just a fad to them. You didn't know? But for us, this is our living, breathing soul. And yeah, they might backpack in South America or even volunteer in an African village. But all said and done, when push comes to shove and sh hits the fan of middle class and British, and I ain't even dissing. That's just how it is. Most rich brown people are just as full of shit. So much more concerned with our yeah, cars man. and jewels than most of the world's poor looks just like you. So much more concerned with being privileged few and who knows maybe me too because absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane yeah who's bad yeah man a corner's in the building man we call real MC right that's real MC man real MC right there with a message too I mean you know I mean there's there's a lot of talk about race these days and I'm not gonna say much about it on here but um, yeah man I mean th this guy you know I can tell this guy's educated I can tell he's he's spent I mean he's he's spent countless hours probably probably writing raps I mean man phenomenal uh, put put it together really well. Uh, a lot of great messages there. Um, I said in the first, I said in part one, I could talk about this this stuff for days. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let that man talk. I, I let him talk a little bit. You know, I I try to still working on the pausing thing. But man, when you're coming with stuff like this, what what can I do? I have to pause it. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, bro. All right. I appreciate it. If you like it, give a little sub, uh, you know, hit that bell thing, hit the all, hit the like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'll be doing part three and four uh, at some point here in a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get these edited and uploaded for you guys. So uh, yeah, much appreciated, much love. And uh, yeah, you, you UK guys have some, uh, you got some spitters and you got some, some educated folk too. So that's, that's sick, man. All right. You guys take care.